housemate for a season. I'm a housemate in Saudi Arabia. This is Masi Masi Fall 21. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for everything. I really appreciate you guys. I'm a housemate working in Saudi Arabia and I'm proud to be one because I'm working, I'm paid and yeah, my people are eating food with salt. So if I'm able to work and uh, at least my people they eat food with salt, so I also thank God for that. Yeah, in today's video, I want to encourage someone. I want to encourage a maid who is passing through a lot and you feel like you want to give up. Please don't give up. Don't even plan to. If you got a chance and you are, you are under someone's roof, working and every month you get your salary, don't give up, my dear. You are a housemaid for a season. There is time for summer and there is time for winter. So we are also housemaids for a season. Remember, it's just a contract of which you're going to work within those two years and after you go back and do what you want with your life. Don't just give up. You're about to end or you're about to finish. You're about to, you know, you're about to, you're about to reach to where you are heading. This is like a climbing lane. Don't mind, my dear, you're about to reach on top and see the next hill next to you. Don't just give up. Winners don't just quit like that. We don't give up like that. If it is one day, count it has gone. Count it, it has gone, say Alhamdulillah. Now this day has gone. Alas, it won't come back. Hmm? If it is two years, one day off, yeah, it, it is halas. It is no longer two years. That means a day has gone. Now you cannot say I'm still two years ahead of me. Okay? So just don't give up. Remember we are winners. And winners don't quit are going you're about to reach and see to the other side don't just give up don't give up my dear if you feel like crying you can excuse yourself go to the bathroom go to your room go to a secret place where they can't even hear you just cry louder Cry, give your time, cry. Cry and feel like you're satisfied with crying. Then refresh yourself. If you can take a shower, take it. Wash your face. Then go back and work. When they give you a laugh, give it back. Pretend as if you've not had something. Pretend as if you've not had them backbiting you pretend as if you can't get hurt when they do something bad to you because re remember poor people don't get hurt we are like poor people so we are like also beggars so there is nothing we can't do because we have no choice but if you know you're under someone's roof, let us not show them that we are hurt. Let us not show them that we also get hurt or we also get like we feel angry. And remember, rich people don't, don't, like, don't like to see angry faces, you know. They hate that. So also, when you are hurt, please just pretend as if nothing has happened. When they laugh, just laugh back. 
and put it each and everything to into God's hand into God's hands that's my English you will forgive me and if you feel crying if you feel it's too much just cry just cry remember crying is um, just a medicine it's like a painkiller you can't cry you will get relieved after yeah it is a medicine by the way for anger to those who get angry and you feel like there is something on your heart you feel like bursting when after crying you will feel better so i'm telling you this out of experience crying is just like a painkiller use it whenever you feel like you want to don't just insist not to cry just cry out you will feel better after but remember don't forget to make a new world for yourself as a maid wait when you get free time use it the way you want with your phone anything you want to do you can do it make yourself happy laugh listen to the music you can stand up and dance do anything that can make you happy forget what has been t- told to you forget what has been said forget what has happened moments back but now remember to make yourself happy if it is to laugh alone just laugh louder life just remember it's it's just for a moment a housemaid for a season when season comes there is a time for it to you know to end refresh your mind by forgetting what has happened during the whole day or what has been done to you the whole day you can also note down in your notebook when you're happy you can note down that eh, but even on this day i was very happy when you're mad you can also note it down this very day this thing and the other I was not happy because of this and the other. Also note it down for remembrance. You will keep remembering. You will keep like when you go back home and you're like, oh, this and this happened on this very day. But you still don't forget to remind yourself you are a housemaid for a season. No matter what comes into your mind, don't forget that you are a housemaid for a while. No matter what you're planning to do, don't forget that you're a housemaid for a meanwhile. You're just there. You are like a visitor. So don't do anything like stupid for your life. Don't do anything that is going to cause your life like to, to regret forever. Just keep in your mind you're a housemaid for a meanwhile.